<sighs> Another busy day. Hey everybody, welcome to the shack. I'm Rick. As part of my Everything Home video series, it's all home improvements and upgrades you can do to your house. These are installing simple things, painting, patching walls, laying wood floors, you know, everything you can do pretty much yourself. So with that said, this video we're going to install a new Hunter fan. It's remote control. It even has a dimmable feature. It's LED, so as you can see, it, it's just dark time. It's 9 o'clock at night. And it's lit in here, and that is from that ceiling fan. They're every bit as good as a as two 60 watt bulbs, at least. Very nice. So let's get going on it, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you do it. Very simple. Hunter Designer Series Kimball Ceiling Fan, 52 inch remote control, has LED bulbs. Model 59206. Okay, step one, we, we're going to mount our ceiling bracket. Now you have a couple of options. The wood screws, which I believe are these. Or you have machine screws. These are the machine screws. They go into my box up here. These are all my wires. And... I, this is mounted. I've already got this up ready to go. You can see up here these little bumpers. Make sure all four of the bumpers are on here. That's what rides on the ceiling here. It cushions it so there's no vibration. The opening here doesn't matter which way it goes if you have a level ceiling. If you have a vaulted ceiling, this opening is to be mounted uphill. It's going up like this, so the down rod goes and sits in there, so there's no chance of the down rod or the fan somehow popping out. Make sure this is facing uphill when you mount this ceiling bracket to your ceiling, if it is vaulted. Flat ceiling, really doesn't matter which way it goes. Now you're going to fish the line through the down rod, and you want it to get them all on one side or the other inside here. If you don't, you split it, when you screw this on, it's gonna be twisting the wires and you don't want that. So you wanna get them all on one side of that pin in there. And there we go. All of them on one side. So fish that through. There we go. Tighten that down snug, and then just, and this is where the pliers come in, put the pliers there and tighten it up. Now we pick up the canopy here, and feed it through all these wires, and just set it down here for now. So with your motor, just tilt a little bit, get it up in there, make sure your wire to push out of the way, slide it in. Create a liner, make sure none of the wires are pinched or caught in there by accident. Moves free, we're good to go. Now we start wiring. So your ceiling bracket is a green with yellow stripe. Same thing with your fan. So I'm gonna cut this one a little bit, match it to this, and these are all my ground wires. Put them all together. Now I got all my ground wires connected. And a good thing is you just kind of have to line them up, hold it real good to get your wire nut on, and wire nut on, tighten it up. But just kind of make sure that they're in there tight because sometimes you'll tighten it and you'll miss it. One of these wires won't be connected and it'll pull right out. So don't pull hard, just make sure it's in there snug and they're all connected. Let's set this in here so we can start wiring it up. So yellow, yellow wire from receiver to black wire fan and since these are extremely long I'm going to cut it to about 
six to eight inches long. I don't need all that. And there you have it. So yellow to black. And blue from the fan to the blue of the receiver. Again, don't need all this extra wire. I'm going to cut it off. Blue to blue. Leave these aside for now. And again, you have all this extra wire. Six to eight inches, I'm just cutting them all about the same. So I'll cut my white wire right there. All you need. Voila. Now, all the white wires. Now take your time and you gotta make sure you get them all lined up. So it is a little difficult sometimes to make sure they're all even. But you want to so they all go in to be wiring up properly. Okay, looks good there. And as I said, make sure that your wires, especially the loose ones, whoops, see, came right out. So it didn't catch in there. That one did. So I said, check to make sure so you don't have any problems later. Okay, good, now they're secure. Here's a black wire to the black wire. Now we're going to just tuck everything underneath, up and out of the way. And this can be difficult at times. And that's it. And that's it. I don't care for this, but best we can do. There you go. Now this will only go on one way. Spin it around until it fits in because it has got a triangle cut into it. And that's how it's going to sit on there. Now you may be wondering, with all this hardware, how do you know which one's which? As you follow your directions, you'll see it says Insert, insert the two canopy screws found in the, and it's got a solid circle hardware bag. All these will have like a bow tie, an open circle, solid square, solid triangle, looks like an equal sign, and you have a solid circle. This is the canopy screws. So just follow directions, so let's put those in. Now if you can get something that's got a magnetic tip on it, It'll save you a lot of hassle. And I just hold the screw right there and I'll screw it in until I find the hole. Here we go. What we're going to do, we're going to start mounting the brackets for the fan to the fan blades. Now this particular model, you have dark wood or the light wood. I am going to have dark floors when I lay them down, so I'm going to put the dark wood facing down. Remember, you look in your hardware, Oops. you want to do the square, this is the washers, and you want the screws that are in the triangle, so these two bags are your hardware you need to mount the brackets to the fan blades. Okay, I'm going to put this one together so you see. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you look here, there's a lot of play in that. There's a huge gap in here. So the only thing I can tell you is when you get the screws in here, you just kind of center it the best you can before you tighten them up. I mean, to me that's kind of too big of a hole for these. 
that should have been should be that much play should be a little tighter fit that way you guarantee a better balance all the way around so let's get these in here but what I do I kind of move it around try and get that thing pretty centered in there and I just hold it and then I tighten it up just snug it up and hopefully it's okay and that's about it There you have it. I'll do the rest of them, and then we're gonna hang them. Okay, now we got the blades to the mounting brackets done. Next step, we're gonna mount the blades to the fan motor. And again, we're going to use the hardware bag that has the little bow tie looking thing, or hourglass, whatever you wanna call it. And that's it right there. I'm just going to hand tighten all those on. I'm going to put them all on and I'll show you when I'm done. Now, the blades are all on. Let me go to the next step. We're going to mount this beautiful housing here. Really nice. It's going to cover most of that up. We're going to use the hardware bag that has the equal sign. And we're going to undo these wires. So just buy a rubber band, take the rubber band off. I'll push that down. What we're going to do, we have two slotted screws. So we're going to put two screws in, get this in, mount it, tighten them up then with the third screw. That way it doesn't move at all. Next step is to put the two included LED bulbs in. And these bulbs are bright. I mean extremely bright. Take this off. Little bag. It's got this little cap in there. This goes on, goes on like this, and it pushes against this, it holds that up. Snare it all the way up till it stops. It's just plastic, it's just to hold that on there. Now you put this on, and this, and you snug it. I put the battery in, there's a remote. So I'm gonna hit the light switch. Boom, lights on. Hit the fan switch. Slow. Now that is nice. Go higher. Speed two. And that thing is quiet. Can't even hear it. 
the third speed. Now, off. Now, the star on here is the off. You can't push it, turn it back on. You have to hit one of the speeds. So if you want it back on, you hit one, two, or three, and it kicks on. You shut it off, you hit the star on here. That shuts it off. The light shuts the light off. Now these are also dimmable and that is a neat little option and you work it through your remote. Basically what you do to turn the dimmable feature on you hold the fan off button and you hit the light button twice. That turns it on. Press and hold. There you go. Press and hold, brighten them back up. Sweet, nice, nice feature. I will make a side note if you want to switch it to summer or winter, you know, you can reverse the fan direction, take the light housing off to switch it. And there's a switch there. Hunter shooting fan, really simple. And Hunter itself is quality, seriously. So as you saw, very simple, easy, not much in entailed. You can do this, follow the instructions. Stretches are quite well laid out. Remember on the packets, they all have a symbol corresponding with the steps in, in the installation you're doing. So just be aware of that. Make sure you grab the right packet for that step of installation. And you got it made. Easy done. Easy peasy wheezy. <laughs> I appreciate it. You taking the time to watch. I, I seriously, man. I, I I hope the videos. And I'm not professional. This is just me. But not there as a, as a normal consumer, like 99% of you people are. No one's backing me. No one's giving me this stuff to do. This is me improving my house, my rentals, whatever. Um, so I appreciate taking time and my main thing is I hope somewhere along the line if you were stuck, maybe you're doing one and you maybe just were searching and saw my video and maybe helped in some way, that's all I want. If I can help you do one step and finish or do one thing and help you improve something, I've done my job and that's all I want. So again, thank you for watching. Subscribe, stay up to date, hit the subscription button and don't forget the notification button so you will be notified when I do come out with another video. Follow me on Twitter by Monday, Tuesday somewhere so it's coming out Friday so you have that heads up. Um, keep the comments clean, be respectful, I don't care what you say to me, ask me questions, tell me I'm this and that, but do it in a respectful manner and watch the vulgarity, that will not happen. You come across in a bad manner, you get deleted. So I don't care what you say, but say it respectfully. Any questions, everything's down below. Um, and then that's it, man. Be blessed. Get out there. Take back your shout. Follow me as I do mine, plus the home improvements. And since I have grandkids, I do have two toy boxes I have to build within the next month. And I'm trying to go back to Japan in July, so it's very, 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 very busy. Yeah, if I had longer hair, I could pull it out. That's why I keep it short. Not when I was younger, surfer had it long. No, it's short enough. I can't grab it. So, thanks again for watching. <laughs> See you next video.